Yo, yo, what up everyone? How you guys doing? Today is pretty excited for me. It is a day of firsts. So it is my first video here on YouTube. It's my first unboxing and it's my first mystery box. So I'm pretty damn excited. So let's get into it. So like I said, this is my first mystery box. I've always been skeptical of these things because although they've always sounded cool i've always had this thought of just like well why would i pay money for something that i might not like you know what i mean it's all randomized i don't know what i'm getting sure i could get something great but i i just don't know so i've been super kind of skeptical on it and on the fence of them of uh, mystery boxes just a couple months ago, I saw this new mystery box come up called The Comic Chest. Now, how The Comic Chest stands out from, at least for me, from all the other mystery boxes, is that they actually customize your box. It's still a mystery. It's still, you still don't know what's in it, but they customize it to what you like. So basically how it worked for me is I contacted them on their Facebook because right now they got the Facebook uh, is their main way of contact and you say hey I'm looking into these mystery boxes I think I want one and he sends you like it's, it's kind of a test you basically take a test they ask you some questions just like hey what comic book characters do you like what video game characters do you like do you like sci-fi do you know just basic geeky nerdy questions and you answer them it doesn't take that long maybe 10 minutes tops and then they go excellent we'll have your box ready in a, in a week or two so that's exactly what i did and here it is my very first comic chest box mystery box i'm uh i'm pretty excited for this I've, like I said, I've been skeptical of these boxes uh, since I first heard of them, but this one definitely seems different than any other I've heard, so let's get into it. Let's see what we got. I need to get a better knife for sure. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, let's see here. The box itself is in pretty good condition, actually. It has a little dent there, but not not too bad. Um, let's see here. What do we got here? A little thank you right there. Uh, what is this? So yeah, this seems to be a list of the things you get uh, it doesn't go into the specifics of what they are just kind of general what you get uh, I will put that on screen for you guys but I already know I already saw that online so uh, we got a little sticker a little comic chest sticker there looks pretty nifty nifty logo there uh, and we got what's this a uh, pack of cards and oh, okay before i open those cards what do we got here okay so this so on the back it says out now so i guess right now you can get a fantastic four box so that's the one thing they do if you can't think of what you want they have a monthly box which is just like well i don't know what i want oh they got fantastic four cool i'll get some fantastic four stuff give me that box so just a cool little thing and this one says coming soon say hello to the bad guys Ooh, that's interesting actually say say hello to the bad guys that seems pretty cool so that's pretty cool I might actually get that say hello to the bad guys one uh, we'll see how this goes first so I'll open the cards first I figure start small and big right Got some Power Ranger cards. 
God, Power Rangers back in the day. I remember this stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. Little monster cards. I'm not, uh, I mean, I'm not too crazy about these. I'm not a big card person as it is. And uh, Power Rangers, as much as I loved it as a kid, I'm not a huge fan. Not bad. Nothing, nothing too crazy, just... Yeah, I'll, let's see if I can get that to kind of focus. Nothing too... Whoop, wrong way. I don't know. If you're a Power Ranger fan, I, I would assume... Now, I remember these two. These two were fucking badass. I remember these guys. But yeah, like I say, I'm not a huge fan. Oh, God. <laughs> I got these all turned around wrong. Uh, another little monster there. Lizard dude. Not bad. Whatever. You know, they're cards. Nothing too crazy. Well, let's see. Let's get to, to the, the bigger stuff. Packaging stuff. Whatever. Uh, what's this? A little nicely wrapped little thing. Try not to be too rough with it. I don't want to break what's inside. Oh, uh, okay. All right. More cards. Oh, okay. Nice, that's sweet. Captain America vs. Wolverine. We got a Spider-Man. Another Sp- Oh, that Spider-Man's actually fucking dope. With all the webs. Damn, what Deadpool is this? That's like... Super 90s. Hmm. I guess that one has like a little... F fact on it or trivia? Nomad? I actually have no idea which one this was. Who this is. God, that sounds familiar. Oh, wait. Here. Here's a little trivia. In 1950s, Nomad served as a sidekick to that era's Captain America. So these are cool. Uh, again, I'm not a card guy, but I definitely remember these cards back in the day. These are old as hell. I'll show you guys. Hulk. I fucking love the Hulk. He's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. He's just so, such a good fucking character. So simple, but good. Yeah, here's here's the Captain America versus Wolverine. Uh, it's kind of, there we go, there it focused. Here's Spider-Man. Looks like he's just thinking about something, right? Just, uh, uh. Man, it's tough being Spider-Man out on these streets. Oh, boy. This is the one I really like. That's fucking cool. With the webs. They don't draw webs like that anymore. Something about that just looks so cool. I don't know why. It's so fucking cool. And here's that Deadpool. It's very, very 90s style. I like it. And here's that Nomad guy. I don't know who that is. If you guys know who that is, like, tell me in the comments or something. I don't know who that is. And it looks like it even has... Like, little fighting stats? I don't know if this is a, an actual game or what, but... More cards. Pretty cool. I don't think they're games, but I remember these cards just having, like, power ratings. And I don't think they were for anything. I think they were just, like, little statistics for characters. God, I remember these cards. They had, like, the weirdest, randomest facts that just really mean nothing, but... They're cool little add-ons. You don't really see shit like that uh, nowadays. But that's pretty cool. Definitely better than the, the Power Ranger ones. Like I say, I'm just not a big Power Ranger guy. Let's see. What's... Ooh. Some nerds. Get it? It's comic box. You get some nerds because I'm a nerd. We're all nerds. <laughs> some, some Starburst. All right, cool. Some little candy. What's this? Oh, Hero Clicks. Yeah, when I found out they were giving out hero clicks, I was kind of excited. Because I used to play this back in the day. It never really grabbed popularity. 
but it was just like a little cult following that I, I enjoyed playing. It, it's a fun game, it really was. Let's see what I got, okay. So I got four in here, which is great because that's the old hero clicks that I grabbed. They had, they came with four. Uh, Kabuki, okay. I actually remember this, this one. Let's see what I have. Kabuki here. Katana. Little Batman character. Oh man, they, they actually click really nice too. I remember a problem is these things would get old and they would be like impossible to click, but all of these are clicking. Uh, very nice. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Magma. Cool. Oh, and Scarecrow. We all know about Scarecrow. Oh yeah, see this guy's a little harder to click, but still not too hard. You get these little figurines. There's Scarecrow there. There's Magma. Kabuki. Katana. And basically, there's these things. This little bar underneath. And you click it. There it goes. I'm doing it the wrong way, but you get the idea. It changes those little stats. So nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm not uh, huge in these characters, but man, I do love hero clicks. I actually learned recently that they're trying to bring them back. So I don't know, maybe if I get enough of these boxes, I can start playing, right? Start playing again? Maybe, maybe. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Vintage, all right, you get a vintage toy. Let's see here. What do we got in here? I'm just gonna rip that. Let's see some red feet. What's attached to those red feet? Let's see. Oh, oh, nice! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this thing! Oh my god, that is awesome! little old school Captain America. That is super old school. Look at that. <laughs> That's actually pretty fucking dope. Got a little Captain America there. Oh, oh. Now this was something in toys that was pretty dope back in the day. I don't think you can see it, but he has a little opening in his hand. So you can put like swords and stuff in there. I know Captain America don't use swords, but when you're a kid, you know, you just let your imagination go wild. But that's pretty cool. I think I'll put this guy up there. Right there. Right in that little Captain America pot. Right next to uh, Guts. Perfect. Alright, let's see. So I got two things left. Oh wait, no, three things. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I got another vintage character. Let's open that guy while we're at it. Oh, I see red feet again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god, another super old, except it's Wolverine this time. God, I remember this. I had one just like this. It wasn't this costume. I think it was his yellow and blue costume was what I had. God, that face looks so weird. But look at this. Let's see if it go. It works. Yeah, he can put his claws away. Yeah. I'm the best at what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm fucking nerd. This one sticks a little bit, but hey, whatever. But yeah, that is pretty fucking vintage for sure. 
Holy crap. <laughs> that is one old ass Wolverine. You talk about old man Logan, right there. Old man Logan, right there. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah, dude. All right, I want to save the collectible for last. Let's get these comic books. These comic books, you get, you're supposed to get 10 comic books. And if possible, I believe you even get an entire full story. Let's see, I'm trying not to ruin him. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, here they come. What do we got here? Comic, oh, comic grade, okay. So I guess on the back, you get these little grades for, uh, you know, how much these comics are worth. That's pretty cool. Probably a general price, but that's still a cool little thing to add. Uh, backlash. So I got this Backlash one. I don't really know who that is, but he looks pretty cool. It's very 90s artwork for sure. Um, let's see here. Midnight Nation. And look, he even added a little note. Same writer as Rising Stars, which I told him was my favorite comic. So that's pretty cool. So I've never heard of this comic, but that note, like, if I didn't have that note, I'd just be like, all right, cool, whatever. But knowing that this is from the guy who wrote Rising Stars, I definitely want to fucking read these now. So I got one, two, three, and four Midnight Nation. So pretty fucking dope. I definitely want to read those. What's this, huh? Ooh. Ooh. Some Wolverine comics. All right. So we get this Wolverine Soul Taker. Soul Taker. We got one. We got all five of them. There's two. Ooh, I like that one. I like the artwork a lot. That's the third one. Fourth one. And the fifth one. These look fucking cool, man. I don't know this story uh, that much. I like comics a lot, but I don't. I don't keep uh, like tabs on the stories and stuff. But this, now that I mean, I have them, so why not read them, right? I love Wolverine, so this is pretty fucking cool. Wolverine's one of my favorite characters. Best thing last, the collectible. Let's see. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's see some green, let's see, what do we got here, oh nice, oh this is an actual toy toy, I didn't know they uh, had these toys, so I got a little overwatch toy, Zyra, pretty fucking dope, I never knew how to play as Zyra, I always was trash with her. But she looks cool, and having a toy of her is pretty badass. So that's pretty dope. I think I'll put her back here, to be honest. I think she'll get a spot on the shelf. I do want to replace these big guys, because they keep fucking falling, and it's annoying me. So a smaller character that I love would be fucking dope. That's awesome. It looks good too. It looks it looks like good fucking quality. The box isn't like damaged at all. I don't see any rips or anything and the toy looks pretty super cool. It's got a little little dent right there but not really that bad.
I don't think you can even notice on the camera. Yeah, see that little tiny, but whatever. I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna open this shit up anyway, so it don't matter for me. I have no idea if this is worth anything. So let's see what we got in total. So we got some Power Ranger cards. We got some comic book cards. We got some, some hero clicks. We got some vintage toys, the Captain America back here. We got a bunch of super cool comics. And we got a dope ass Zara figure. Pretty cool. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna check these guys out again. Maybe turn this into a monthly video. I think it's pretty fucking cool what I got. I think I got my money's worth. If you guys <clears throat> wanna get your own comic chest, I'll put their information in the description below. I think I'm gonna go open these comic books and start reading them. You guys have a wonderful day. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and if you want, drop a comment. Much love, talk to you guys later. Packaged almost too good for my tiny brain.